just making a quick video update. Got the wrasse in there right now, and uh, he's actually doing good. I'm surprised. I know my, uh, my local fish store owner, Mike, told me the minute he put him in the tank, the display tank over there, that uh, he went right under the sand bed. And I know he tried to feed him today when I was there and pulled him out from underneath the sand bed and dug himself right back right back into the sand bed so I'm kind of surprised that he's been in the tank for about 10-15 minutes now and hasn't uh, hasn't went underneath to go hide in the sand yet Trigger gave him a little nip when he first hopped in the tank but uh, what I did was I threw some food in there for the Trigger to kind of take the focus off of him so he Trigger attacked the food while this guy just hung out and uh, just kind of ignored him but uh I'm thinking about getting rid of the trigger actually because I put the Nasarius snails in there and he already killed one. He had it in his mouth. I actually purposely dug him under the sand when I put him in as I put him in so he wouldn't see them. And uh, one dug itself out of the sand and he found it and he had it in its mouth already. Uh, I mean, I think he killed it. I'm not sure. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the thing is dead. I'm really thinking about getting rid of them, putting them upstairs in the 90 gallon. But, um, just wanted to make a quick update and show you guys the wrasse. He's looking really good in here right now. I slowly acclimated him for about two and a half hours, probably. About two and a half, yeah, a little less than two and a half hours. Acclimated him slowly and, uh, got him to my same pH as my tank and then, uh, put him in. So, all in all, doing well. Figured I'd make a quick update and let you guys see him in the tank because I was kind of surprised he's uh, out and about just doing his thing. Here's the Leertail Rass. Little Flame Angel. He's out. He's doing good. He's eating now. I don't know if you guys could see that uh, new A can I got, but it's pretty sick. Got the uh, the green center. I wish this camera would focus a little better, but I know it's got to do with these lights. Fish tank lights. Orange. Got the green and the blue in the center. Got a little uh, little bit of blue around the tips too. There's all kinds of colors in the center. Actually, I'm looking at it not through the camera now. It's yellow, green, and blue in the center. One of the uh, one of the anemones came back, the aptasia on this uh, fire and ice branch over here, and I just finished killing it with uh, a needle and some lemon juice, a diabetic needle. Got some lemon juice, strained it, took the pulp out, and uh, stuck it right in the heart of that thing. Cause I got the other two good, the other two are dead. There was three on there, so one came back though. And I got him good now. He he definitely ain't coming back. But uh, once again, there's the ras. A little quick update too. Sand bed is nice and uh, well, not nice and clean, but for my liking, not too not too bad for what it used to be at least. Still a little uh, brown, but all in all. Pretty happy with the bio pellets, like I said, doing a wonderful job. Um, funny thing is, last night I woke up, my pH is about 8.18 right now, but during the night it dropped down to about 7.7, .7, which was pretty awkward. I was kind of scared. I was like, oh no. So I put some buffer in there and it's back up to 8.18. .8. So. I'm going to be real interested tonight to watch what goes hap what happens with the whole setup. But um I got the reef keeper system working well now. Got the timer set up with the lights, the fans. Got the wave makers going with the pumps, with the corallias going back and forth with that one and the other one on the other side. This one right here is going back and forth between them took me a little while to figure it out because they don't work on channel 2 and 3 on the uh, they got to be on channel 1 and 4 so 
took me a little reading and forum searching, but I figured it out because it wasn't working when I had them on two and three. But uh, all in all, everything is pretty pretty damn good right now. So uh, just a quick update. There's that hammer that I had gotten the other day for a steal of a price. Doing well. Flame Angel. Freaking love that fish. Nipping at the algae on the uh, power head. Good sign. Seems to be doing very well. Floating around. Eating now. Picking on the rocks and the algae, so I'm happy about that. I don't know if you guys have ever showed you these polyps, but these are pretty cool actually. They're uh, purple with some green specks on the inside. And you can see when they're closed up, a few of them are closed up because I just uh, moved the sand around a little before, but uh, they got like some stripes on the uh, on the inside. They're pretty cool. There's a Duncan, little frag. Actually, this A can right here I just found out last night. I don't know if you could see it from here. But in between those two polyps, there's a baby head shooting out. So that makes five heads on that bad boy now. Pretty excited about that. No, I'm just making a video on YouTube. But uh, here's the tank. Quick view from the back. Another picture of the new rest in there. Still out and about. Just feeling out the tank, seeing what's going on in there. Show you what's going on down here too. Got the skim working crazy right now. Dark brown skim mate. Crazy bubbles coming out of there. Straight garbage floating around in there. That's good. There's that eShop's magnetic probe holder I got. Holding my probes perfect. Beautifully actually. And uh, tidied up all the wires today too. Got them all neat, neat and up. I don't know if you guys can see it. But uh, I mean it looks a lot better than it did before. I actually got them, if you could see this one all wrapped up with the tie, I actually did that to all of them. Pain in the ass mounting these PC4s back here. Couldn't get my hand back there too easily. But, uh, there's nothing on the floor now, so that's good. A little quick update of what's going on here. update of the light as you can see the different color spectrums I got going on there those blue ones are the blue pluses which are blue blue actinics but put out a very high par which is good I'm gonna take one out though and put the uh, the aqua blue special daylight in there so just a little quick tour figured I'd make a video since I've been making so many why not make some more I'm excited about this Rass. He's freaking sick. Once again, he's male leopard Rass. See if you can see the acans a little better this time. With the uh, Scully and the Blasto. A little war coral down there. You know, it's getting there slowly. But uh, I guess that'll do it, so see you guys later.